Problem-based learning is a method in which students work on real-life problems. This is an innovative way of teaching students how to work in a practice-oriented manner. Each problem will take a period of 10 weeks to be completed. When a case is given to the students, it has to be studied closely. Only then can the main goal become clear. When the goal is cleared, the students can study the problem and come up with solutions. The group will come together with their solutions and decide on which will be the best combined solution. Whenever the students get stuck, the tutor will be there to help. The students all have their individual tasks and have to collaborate to complete the project. Therefore, teamwork is a vital aspect to successfully complete a case. The group exists of students only. A tutor supervises the process of the group and gives feedback on the process and collaboration of the individual students. This teamwork dynamic provides an environment where everyone is considered equal and equally responsible. To make sure every student takes up the responsibility, a peer assessment will take place once the project is at the halfway point and once more when the project is completed. The group members assess each other on timeliness, productivity, and communication skills. If you gain a negative score, this will be a challenge. You might have to redo the whole project. A skilled professor gives feedback on the work that is created and also provides answers when needed. Lectures are provided according to what is needed in the project. The lectures are demand-driven. Only with good teamwork and a well-organized schedule can the case be completed successfully. With problem-based learning, you will learn how to function in a team, communicate effectively, you will experience problem-based learning, you will learn how to deal with real-life situations such as absent team members and etc. You will learn on how to give and receive feedback, and you will learn what it means to be dedicated to a project. With every case, you will learn new skills and new ways on how to deal with real-life problems using problem-based learning. Problem-based learning is a new and growing piece of what professors are doing in America. Uh, not all professors use it. Some professors like traditional lecture uh, material. Here is my book, here is what I teach. You memorize the things in the textbook, take your test, get your grade. I prefer to use the problem-based learning because it challenges students to go away from memorizing facts, using uh, the relationship building and the project thinking, and keeps them from, uh, shall we say, falling asleep in class. I think there's definitely a couple benefits, one of them being you, know, you get to work with a group, you get to network with other people. Uh, you get to see real world problems and kind of solve them uh, as opposed to just reading out of a textbook. Yeah, so you're, you're forced to work to, together because um, if you were to do it alone, it would be a lot of work and you may make mistakes. Whereas if you have multiple um, uh, perspectives, that way you can increase your quality of your work and avoid mistakes if possible. You have to develop your own study not listening to, but uh, get some direction, but make your own study. There's no wrong and there is no right. And that, that's the, how it's called, the beauty of uh, problem-based learning. Most challenging, but like still rewarding is working together with people and figuring out how people work best and what their strengths and, weak strengths and weaknesses are. And just coming together, learning about what those are and learning how to work with them now, rather than doing that in the field where a lot of money, lots of money is at stake. Mm -hmm. I think that with PBL, you really develop more skills than that you would with uh, traditional methods. So that's why I really advise using PBL uh, um, more intensive in, in education. And I think most of the English programs at Han University work through this method. Problem-based learning in three words. I uh, entrepreneur. I uh, 
group thinking. That's two words. Did I already get my three words? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, challenge. Mm 